allegations familiar to you when Michael was alive. Uh, and now this new documentary um, revives them um, after his death. Have you seen the documentary? Do you know the details of the allegations? Um, and what is your response to them? No, but no, let me start by saying this. Wade was in Michael's defense in a case in 2005 where he was asked to take the stand. And he was um, asked the question by Tom Mesereau, did Mr. Jackson ever molest you? Wade absolutely said no, absolutely not. Then Mr. Mesereau asked, has Mr. Jackson ever touched you sexually? And he said no. And what has happened here is um, Joy contacted my ghostwriter to sit down with him to champion Michael's innocence and cementing, cementing Wade's testimony that was under oath. So what has happened that people don't know is Wade changed his story that he maintained before and after Michael's death. He tried to go out and shop a book deal no publisher would touch it. He even sued the estate for $1.5 billion. It was tossed out of court. He wanted to go out for the head choreography part for Cirque du Soleil. He was turned down from that. So what was left for him to do is, is to do a documentary. So he gets in front of a camera with a bunch of people and spews out all these nonsense statements. Jermaine, if I may jump in. There's no question that <clears throat> what you say is true, that, that this guy gave evidence under oath and said the complete opposite to what he's saying now. People do do that sometimes, particularly if they're victims. Part of the problem that people have with this, if they're on the outside, is that Michael settled multi-million dollar lawsuits with boys who'd been in Neverland, shared a bed with him. Other people find it very strange that a man in his late 30s... Okay. Well, let me finish. That a man in his late 30s, wait, wait, early 40s wait. would share a bed at Neverland Listen, with young boys. So Pierce, do you understand why people Pierce, look at Pierce, it and wait, go... Wait, 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 wait. Pierce, let me interject. Those were slumber parties, and what they didn't tell you was there were little girls there, even with their parents, their uncles, and they were sitting down watching movies during the time I believe he was instructed by one of his, his legal team to do that. And that's why everybody's coming forth now. But I will say this, even when that settlement happened, the father killed himself because of guilt. And then the kid said, Michael never touched him. But he got tired of them dragging him through the mud and this and that. So that's, what this, that's what's going on now. I can but imagine... the father mm. killed himself because of guilt. OK. How, how sure can you be, Jermaine, that Michael was completely innocent? He le obviously led a very strange, unusual life. We all accept that. Mm. You were his brother. I could totally Pierce. understand why you would want to defend him, right? I was a huge fan of Michael as a performer, one, probably the greatest performer I've ever seen. But how sure can you be, given that you were not there that he did not have a side to him that was mm. pretty dark, as this documentary is it's very graphic, it's very... Uh, no. It's terrible to watch. How sure can you be, Jermaine? Pierce, I'm a 1,000% sure because Michael was tried by a jury in Pierce and he was acquitted on all of this because there was no real evidence. There was nothing there. And I will say this, um, our family are tired. We're very tired. Yeah. Let this man rest. He, he, he did a lot for the world. Let him rest. And I'll just say this. There is no truth to this documentary. But you look at the series of events of Wade shopping book deals, following the $1.5 billion lawsuit, getting, trying to, and not to say, but he was very close to the family. He even went out with two of my nieces. What impact no, does it... Sudden, Jermaine, Jermaine, let me ask you this. We, we read reports that, that Paris, Michael's uh, daughters, had to go into rehab as part of the fallout from the 
trauma that this documentary has brought her as Michael's daughter and so on. What impact, clearly it's had a huge impact on you as a family, but tell us the impact, that the strain that it's had, really, on all the Jacksons, that this has now come out again, it makes these allegations, Michael's not here to defend himself, you're having to do it for him. Mm. But what has the strain been like for the family? Well, it's been very, very tough because we know we are a family and um, when, when these things happen, we pull together and the statement that, that we, we put out with, with the estate says it all as well. But I wanted to come on because I've always jumped to my brother's defense even when he was living and, and now. But I'm just saying he was tried with all of these things and he even child services of Los Angeles cleared him even before the trial in Santa Barbara. And so they had to put him, sling him through the mud, and he was cleared of all of this. So it's nonsense. Jermaine, do you feel that you're going to forever have to be defending your brother, that there will ever be an end to these allegations and these claims? I hope so, but we're living in a time where people can say anything and then it's taken the truth. Under oath, he said what he said. They would rather believe a documentary. They would rather believe a documentary than looking at what was said under oath in front of a judge, jury, everything. Absolutely not. He did not touch me. Absolutely not. It's certainly Wade mm. Robson has not even told his mother, despite her repeated questioning, had always maintained that Michael did nothing inappropriate to him mm. and then finally said the opposite. Um, and the difficulty, I guess, for anybody on the outside here, Jermaine, is... Who to who, who really... Who to believe? You know, you obviously have an inherent belief in your brother. Pierce, that he was Pierce, a good man. Come on, come but, on. But come what is on. it? I'm not saying that... No. I'm not saying either way myself. I'm just but, saying... You can see but, on the outside Pierce, why people don't know what to think. There's a story. No, no, no. Don't say that because you're putting that out there. Don't say that. The truth of the fact that he was under oath in front of a court and a jury, a judicial system in America, and he stated, absolutely not. I would not be here. I wouldn't stand for it. His mother gets in touch with my ghostwriter, championing Michael's innocence. And, and just cementing Wade's testimony under oath. It's, it's just it doesn't make any sense. Will, will you as a family, Jermaine, be taking legal action against the makers of a documentary now? That's, that's something for the, for the estate. We lost Michael. We lost our father. We're still mourning. We lost... We lost a lot. Just leave us alone. Leave him alone. Let him rest. Please. Let him rest. He deserves to rest. Jermaine, uh, it's good to talk to you. I wish it had been under different, different circumstances. Normally we talk to you about what you're doing with your, your other music, brothers yeah. and the band and the music and so on, but obviously this documentary has reared these, you know, ugly claims again and you're having to defend them and I respect the fact that you as a brother have come on our show today to do that. So thank you very much.